Good afternoon to my Duke colleagues. This is the third Friday afternoon for me communicating with you during the COVID-19 response. I want to start again by saying thank you. Thank you for paying attention to strict social isolation. This is such an important intervention. In fact, data from across the country is showing it's working, so please keep it up. And those of you that are essential personnel and coming to campus, I want to remind you, please do not come to work if you have any symptoms suggestive of COVID-19, but rather call the COVID-19 hotline and they'll help you work through it. Now I'm sitting in my backyard because I'm trying to take some downtime. And I want to tell you all, take some downtime. It's tough to have a routine when so much has been disrupted, but you need to step away from work, get some sleep, get some exercise, and have some fun. Today I'm going to recognize teamwork. Teamwork has gotten us where we are today. And it's many, many teams doing many things, and I can't possibly name, it all, name them all. But today I want to recognize the Division of Infectious Diseases for their extraordinary efforts to get our institution ready. And their efforts started way back in January when signals were coming from China. I want to recognize our facilities teams, whether they're the facility team in the animal unit that has kept the critical research going and worked with our faculty to downsize their research, or it's the teams that worked on how to manage thousands of packages that come through our institution every day by figuring out a central spot that they could be distributed from. And I want to recognize the team that came together to put together a study that really is looking to how we can better protect our providers, called the HERO study. In record time, they have a study coming online next week. So for all of you, thank you again for your efforts. Make sure you take time to take care of yourselves and continue to be part of the solution. I'll talk to you next week.